Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a new episode of Last Claudia. Oh, we got some good stuff to talk about today, so let's go ahead and get right to it. Starting with a little gotcha here, we're going to do a little bit of the step up, but before we do that, let's talk about C. Rover Medin. We'll go ahead and call her Captain Medin for right now. And the Captain has some decent HP at 5437, strength at 1261, and defense at 1036. Those are the important stats for this character. Now looking at the attribute resistance, she is resistant to fire and ice. And in Elmer resistance, to note, she is actually nil to curse, which is also good. Moving on to the abilities, she basically, as you can tell, all ice attribute attacks. Now the thing to look at is the special here, powerful ice combo attack against all enemies, lower enemy ice resistance. So this is going to basically be sort of a piercing through elemental, but it's hidden behind a special so it's not going to happen as early as, as you know you could do it with a you know an s1 or an s2 it's going to be a while before you can get that ice penetration started but it's still good to have as an addition to a special looking at the traits one-eyed pirate queen that's right physical attacks have a chance to inflict lock on so enemy is more likely to be targeted takes physical damage plus 25 percent and slightly restores HP and MP to the unit defeating it. And then of course it ends if inflicted on another enemy. So basically you can only target one person at a time. If the target changes, then the effect of the previous one no longer happens. Still a really good ability because basically you have a chance of all of your units to potentially target the person that she's targeting. Uh, being able to deal them more damage, which makes it really good against boss fights. And Storing HP and MP to the one that kills it is more just an added bonus. Nothing really to brag about, but it's still pretty good. This is one of those abilities that's good not only in boss fights, but potentially even PvP. I mean, if you can get, let's say if you're lucky enough to get all four of your people targeting one person, that's pretty much a wipe right there, especially if skills are being activated. Yeah, that's a pretty cool thing to have. So really, really good. Now looking at the second trait, Distant Seaway. Battlestar, all allies recover 10 seconds of SCT and recover a buff of strength 35%, crit rate 20%, physical damage cap 2000. I don't know if you just heard what I said there, but this is basically what Balin has, but much better. And this is, instead of it being on a charisma, this is actually on a trait. So technically, her ability could stack with Balin's. I'm not sure exactly sure that's how it works, but it could. Not suggesting that you should use Balin with her, but just kind of throwing out a comparison there. But this ability is fantastic, a lot better. And this is just on a trait, so you don't have to cast a spell to do it. It just happens. So this is a really good support trait for a good team this is why you stick her on the team specifically for that ability that's just too good that means you're going to make all of your other characters just dealing tons of more damage which is great in just about every game mode so yeah this woman is really really good i haven't even looked at her skills yet well, we haven't talked about it at least fighting spirit two and four so she's going to be dealing some decent damage uh crit up three with advanced aim vitals Gonna save you a lot on that crit. I got Illusion. You got Life Braid, which I'm not too sure what that is. The lower your remaining HP, the higher your strength will be. Max at 50%. So nice. So as she's taking hits, so definitely get stronger. I like it. Uh, you got Auto Speed. Now this is basically like Bless Speed is my, my uh, understanding. It's Continuous Speed Effects. So I'm assuming this stacks with Bless Speed. So that would make her potentially faster if you were to equip it to her. But you might not need it. You might be able to spend your SC on better uh, skills. But just thought that was interesting. She has auto haste, which of course you have to have auto haste nowadays. Ardor, ice drive, ice attack raise, ice attack raise too. So getting all of that good elemental damage with weak point boost as well. Very nice. We got Ella Victory. We got Pirate's Feast, which... Obviously, she has to have this. It'd be kind of a, a horrible thing if they didn't. You got Sky High with Sky High 2. This is because I believe it's her S2 that does the whole tornado thing. It's really, really cool. Uh, you got the Triple Impact, which is going to save you a lot of SC. That's 11. 
a triple impact cost, so that's really good. Shockwave was basically helps you beat Lanceville in the tower. Uh, you got Gunbreaker 1 and 2. Now, these are new and specific for her. So, Gunbreaker, machine equipped, physical attack damage boost between 5 and 15% at random, and physical attack damage cap up 1,500. And then, of course, the second one is the same thing, except your uh, damage is between 10 and 30% at random, with your damage count going up to 3,000. So she's getting a lot of extra damage by herself with extra dam damage cap by herself. Not including the trait that she's already given to everyone else. It's pretty solid. And then she has Quick Reload, which is another new one. I like this right here. When using a skill, chance to receive or recover 50% SCT for the skill that was used. So you're just getting a discount. You're buying it back. That is so good. So this is probably going to be on a UR arc one day. I'm pretty confident of that. Indomitable Spirit. When lethal damage is taken, recover 50% HP once per wave. When surviving lethal damage, gain a skill damage plus 30% buff. Wow. So this is another one of those. You're going to hit me? I'm going to hit you much harder. Really, really interesting. You got Tattered Sea Chart. Now this is Battlestar Recover 50% of your HP. If your HP was not full at the previous wave's end, boost units physical attack damage. The more effective when less HP is left, a max of 30%. So this will apply to basically wave 2 and beyond. And the less HP you're at at the end of the previous wave, the stronger she's going to be. And of course she's going to gain some hit points at the same time. You know, it's, it's a really interesting, unique skill. Again, she's all about dealing tons of damage while helping her allies do the same. Uh, Revenge Heart. The unit is incapacitated. Living allies recover medium HP and receive a defense and mind plus 35% buff. Also crazy. So another one of those, if I die, well, my uh, teammates are going to do something to you. But that's pretty cool, though. Lots of HP. Got some defense and mind buffs so keeping everyone else alive. So this is, uh, this is a lot of potential. It looks like more of a PvP thing, but it could also work in Tower as well. In case, you know, she ends up dying. You can always revive her and your people are going to get better. And she, like, and she's a team player. She is the leader. She is the captain that even if she goes down, she's helping out. She's giving a boon to her mates. That's right. We got the water bullet. This is machine equipped, physical attack specials. Oh, sorry. Physical attacks and specials have a chance to deal extra ice damage and inflict a movement speed down debuff. This is a fantastic skill. Now, not turn team Keely has a skill that lowers the enemy's speed. So I've been able to see that, and that speed deduction is huge. Seeing how slow they walk basically means you can take advantage of them. And this is just happening whenever... Well, first off, you have to have a machine equip, but then your physical attacks and specials just get to do it naturally. That's pretty crazy. Now, obviously, the, the odds of this going off is probably severely low, but that's still pretty cool when it does actually happen. So, again, this character is the total package. She is exactly what you want her to be. She's not just a physical DPS character. She's also a support character. And the fact that she's upping the offense and defense, depending on the situation of her teammates. And that's great. That's it. Like I said, she is a team player. That's right. Captain Medine. So obviously this is a good, and this is a non-limited unit, by the way. So you'll be, even if you don't get her now, you'll probably randomly get her later because she's going to be in the general pool. This is not a limited descent of heroes or collab character. This is a normal everyday Jane, if you will. But uh, yeah, really, really cool. If, if you get her, you know, be happy. I, I would definitely would like to get her and put her on my roster for sure. All right, so going to the arc now, which again, this is a good arc too. So this is all good stuff the Adis is throwing at us today. This is Tide Beast Megalodon. This is the arc attribute that says when a claw is equipped, Crit rate plus 5%. Physical attack damage plus 15%. Physical ice attack crit damage plus 15%. During 5 hit or lower combos, physical attack damage plus 30%. Now, so the first part about the claw, giving you crit rate 5%, that's really the only benefit you're getting when, you're, when you have the claw. Uh, everything else on here is more towards just, you know, 
other things. The second thing about the ice attack damage and physical ice crit damage going up. So that is something that you're going to want for, say, Celios or Medine, for example. And then, of course, the uh, five hit or lower combo physical damage or attack damage was 30%. That part could be just basically for anyone. But this is an arc that screams for Celios or Medine. Uh, just really, really good. As far as, like, a claw thing, I mean, if you want to equip a claw to, to you know, Medine or Celios and do, like, dual wield or something, I mean, that could be understandable. But, you know, you don't necessarily have to do the claw thing to get a great benefit. I think the rest of the ability uh, is just good enough just to give it to an ice unit and, and be done. So what do you learn from this arc? You got uh, Mimicry Fish, Accelerate, Surprise Attack, Ice Wall, Claw High Boost, and the new Ice High Drive, which is basically your Ice Physical Attack and Special Power plus 30%. Again, it screams out Celios, it screams out Medine. Uh, this is just exactly what you want for characters like that. So basically with this arc, you want the arc attribute is really good, and learning Ice High Drive and Claw High Boost is really good as well if you don't have it. And the arc Ether Reward is the Sacred Sea Beast Claw. So, six star claw with ice attribute, surprise, surprise. Strength 219, which is really good. Uh, HP 115, so that's not bad either. When a claw or ice weapon is equipped, physical attack damage plus 6%, and then plus 12% if you have both, if, if you have an ice claw specifically uh, weapon. Now, it's interesting that they have the text sort of separate and then in parentheses what it would be together because because you would think at first you know well yeah it's an ice claw why would they need to include the six percent for one or the other i have a theory and i could be wrong but the only reason that you would have to explain this in detail and then put in parentheses if it's an ice claw you get double is because if you plan on using this with a character that has dual wield and the second weapon that's being used is, say, uh, an ice sword, that ice sword is going to get that additional 6%. Or if the second weapon is a claw, that claw is going to get an additional 6%. So I think that that's why they have it split up. I could be wrong, and feel free to correct me if you know better than I do, because I'm just taking a guess here. But that would be the only thing that makes sense as far as why you describe it that way. So if that's the case, I mean, obviously this has been really f for a dual wielding type character and just for a way to give extra damage, which is really interesting. I think it's interesting. I think this might be worth investing in if what I'm saying is correct. So really, really good stuff all around. These are just great characters, great arcs, 100% worth doing or using. So let's go ahead and do some gotcha pulls. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do the step up first because I just like doing the step up. We're only going to do lap one. So we're going to spend, you know, the 100, the 200, and the 400. So let's go ahead and do that first. I do have some SSR unit. I'm oh, sorry. I have some unit tickets that I'm going to use as well if I don't pull her in these. So let's just see what happens. Oops, I didn't mean to skip that. I got a little too excited there. So I have no idea who was supporting me here. So this is going to be a surprise. All right, so it's just yellow. No problem, two yellows. And the good thing about doing step up while we're on the screen, if you look at the bottom left, you actually get shards for Medine, which is one of the good reasons to do the step up, is if you're going for the character anyway, why not get shards while you're at it? So it makes the step up actually worth doing. And each you know one that you do gives you more things. So that's why this is worth it. So I always recommend doing this stuff up, especially if you're going to go for the unit. And I definitely would like to get this unit and the arc, to be honest. All right. So I see Theria. Who else is there? And oh, we got the whole squad. It is time to squad up. Let's do it, ladies and gentlemen. Get in there. All right. So we got one screen. We got two screens. Only two transitions. So no go. We tried though. The squad was there. They tried. Well, we got 30 more shards for Medine. That is awesome. So basically, if I do end up pulling her, which I plan on doing it eventually, I'll already be ready with some extra shards to awaken her. So that's really good. All right. 
So we got Theria so far. Who else is going to be with us? And it is just Theria. So the lovebirds, Theria and Kyle, let's see if love can make a difference. We got one screen transition. We got the second transition. We got a yellow. And that is going to be all for that one. And for anyone thinking, man, it's kind of bad luck. It's not as bad as it looks. Again, I'm getting shards for Medine and other credentials, so it's not that bad. Now, this is lap two, which we'll see. We're going to do the uh, unit thing first, and then we might go back and do the second lap and get that done, because why not? Because if I get the character, I'll probably buy the uh, weapon and armor to go or whatever she has for her paid stuff i'll get that to go with it so let's go ahead and do some other oh that was already on the screen i needed to be on my bad all right so actually let me i got that super doh ticket for the ranking thing so let's actually use those 10 tickets to see what i can get this has nothing to do with bedeem so i doubt I'll, I'll be able to pull her from there although if i do that would be interesting oh there's our boy uh z in the back so we got everybody but Theria. All right, let's go ahead and get that slash and see what we can get for the DOH or the Super DOH tickets. We got a yellow, we got a red. Now I'm not sure what to look for. We are getting a new arc. So let's see what this is gonna be. Or oh, we're getting an arc, it might not be due. So we got one red. Okay, we got uh, an arc that I already have maxed out. So no biggie there. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and use some unit tickets that I have and see what we can get there. I don't think I have any. Of the, oh, I do have one premium ticket. Uh, probably not going to use that yet. I'll probably wait till I get more. All right. You know, let's go ahead and start with the lower grade tickets. See if we can pull something with the lower ones first. And then we'll work our way up to the uh, unit tickets. All right. So here's Theory in the background. We could have a full squad. Yep, squad up. Let's do it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, slash time. There we go. But just a yellow. That's okay. I can deal with that. I don't mind having more Crimson Wars to get stuff later. All right, now for the SR tickets. There's only three, so my chance of getting something is going to be a lot lower. So it's really pulling three tickets. So what part of the squad do we have this time? Everyone but Lilibet. All right. She's going to go ahead and take a little vacation. So we got one screen transition. And that's it. This means more than likely nothing. Yep, just some yellows. All right. I didn't expect a whole lot of that anyway. All right, now for the unit tickets. Now keep in mind, the unit tickets guarantee me units, but not a specific one. We just have to... Hope we're lucky. We're going to use all four of them because I just think it's fun to do it that way. So why not? I'd like to save up 10 one day and do a 10 unit ticket thing, but I probably would never do it. <laughs> of course, it starts off red because we already know what it is. Of course, the whole squad is going to be there. So we squad it up. So the question is, which four units are we going to get? Will they be the new character? Now, the last time I did this for Merity and it worked for Merity. Oh, uh, no, 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 and no. Ugh, sad. You know what that means? We're going back to the step up, ladies and gentlemen. That's right. Let's do the step up again. All right, so lap two. Let's go ahead and see if we can get the arc in the unit. How far am I going to go? Well, we'll play it by ear and see what happens. I've got, you know, some resources. Why not? So we got everybody but a little bit on this particular pool. I think I paid a thousand for this, if I'm not mistaken. I think this was a 10 pool. So let's see what happens. We got the third transition. We got a yellow. We got a red. Let's do this. We got only one red, so chances are low. Yep, just got a dupe. That's fine. And look at the... Stuff I'm getting in the background here. On the bottom left, I'm getting Mother Souls now, which is another thing I love to get because I'm always trying to learn skills for a lot of my characters, so this is great. So now I'm going to pay 2,000 paid crystals to get a 10 spin. Let's go ahead and make it happen. 
And that might be it for me because I think that's the last of my pay or almost the last of my paid. So who do we have this time? Everyone but Lilibet again. She is just not showing any love here. I think she's jealous. She wants me to use her instead of Medine. Shouldn't be jealous. It's not cool. Unfortunately, we did not get any reds. No reds at all. Mm. That is sad, ladies and gentlemen. That is sad. Now, I don't think I have enough, but let's double check. Yeah, I'm actually short. So what we're going to do this time, because again, I have some gems and crystals to spend. Why not? I was going to wait for the next collab, which might be a long way away, but I'll probably have enough crystals by that time. So we'll just go ahead and just use up some of our freebies now. Because again, this is good. Oh, wait, I'm on the wrong one again. There we go. When you got a lot of crystals, it's all right. We can do this. If this was a black kind of character, I probably wouldn't do this, but this is actually a really good one. I appreciate the fact that while we're squatting up, we got all the characters. But I appreciate the fact that we're getting good non-limited characters. Like, for example, Guardian Angel Lucio was a fantastic non-limited. And Merity was really good, too. Even though at first people were kind of like, eh, on her. But I thought Merity was really good. But Guardian Angel Lucio is possibly the best of the non-limiteds. So we do get a red here, so let's see what we get. Now what we're looking for. All right, let's go again, ladies and gentlemen. Let's do this. How far will we go? How long will it take me to pull the character and or the arc? So we're starting off yellow. It's just a couple. It's just Theria and Kyle. Love conquers all. So let's see if that's true. Let's see if we can get something off of the lovebirds. Let's do it. So we got some red. See, it takes two. To get two reds. Let's see what happens. Oh, man. We got Celios. Don't get me wrong. That's my boy. I actually like Celios. So it's kind of matching, but not what I'm looking for. And by the way, I'm still getting Medin shards for this. So this is still giving me something other than Crimson Boars. And that's why I actually appreciate it. So let's keep going. All right. So Kyle is now by himself. So let's see if he can do it. He's gonna fly solo this time. He's like, I can do it all by myself. For real. Nope. Not this time. Man, this is not working today. All right, let's do it one more time. Let's see if we can get it on this last spin. Cause I'm not gonna spend all of it now. I'm gonna save some of my crystals. So we got everybody but um, Theria this time. So let's see what happens. There we go. Got some red. We got one. And there it goes. Hey, I'll take it. That's what I'm talking about. That is hype, ladies and gentlemen. There we go. So at least we got the arc. Which to me was probably the hardest thing to get. So I'm alright. Just calling it right here. Just saying, hey, at least I got the arc. So we're going to stop there. I'm not going to spend it all. I'm just going to chill. But like I said, I can always get Medine later. Again, she's general. You don't have to go crazy. The arcs are typically harder to get, which is why I didn't mind pushing for that. But let's go ahead and quickly talk about the one last thing I like to discuss, which are the paid weapons or, or the, what do you call it? Yeah, the paid gear. We'll just call it that. So we have the Gunblade Wave Slicer. That's a wonderful name. So, of course, for Medine only, uh, Sweet Sea Rover Medine only. This is a machine of the Ice Attributes, Shocker, Strength 176, Defense 22, Physical Attack Damage plus 10%, Ice Attack Damage Cap 1000. So, again, adding to her potential damage cap, adding to potential damage in general, this is just a solid weapon. Uh, I mean, what else can you say? Uh, we also have the Sea Rover's Coat. So this is a cloth, a chance to evade magical attacks. When evading, chance to recover one second of SCT. So this is 51 strength, defense of 113, mine of 113, with a thunder resistance. 
So this is actually a decent item too. You're getting some attack with your uh, clothing. That's always a good thing. And the defense in mine is actually a really good stat. So, you know, uh, as far as chance of evading magic, that's cool, but the chances are gonna be low. Uh, the fact that you do get a little bit of SCT if you dodge is kind of a bonus. If they're doing like, you know, Blizzard or something and you dodge a lot of it, uh, each count will tick us, you know, a little bit of SCT. So that could be good. Now, if I'm just gonna buy one, what would I get? That's a question I don't not have the answer to because this is a, a, the situation where you could go either way and be good. I don't think that there's one that's clearly better than the other. Although you could argue the weapon is better because of the damage cap. So if you're all about getting the damage cap and of course the bonus to attack, I think this is probably going to be the weapon of your choice. Especially if you're going to be dual wielding, which I'm sure you will. Or most of you will. So... Yeah, we'll just say that the, the weapon is going to be the item of choice here. Gunblade, Wave Slicer is your is your weapon of choice. Now, I'll probably do about two more uh, multi pulls on the side just to potentially get those weapons uh, items saved up so I can have both whenever I do eventually pull her. But I don't know if I have enough time on this video to do it before it cuts out. So, actually, you know, we're going to try it. So, if the video cuts out before I'm done, sorry. But let's see if we can do two more uh, multi free multis to get the character. And if we don't get it, that's fine. And hopefully I have enough room on the video to do it. Cause I'm low on space right now. <laughs> Cause I did not prepare. All right, so let's go ahead and do another one. We got the full squad, so we've squatted up. I bet you what's gonna happen is as soon as I'm about to get the character, it'll just cut out. It's gonna be funny if it does. But no, we're not gonna be there. So we're just gonna go ahead and skip it all here. Got a little bit of lag there. All right, let's go one more go. Let's see if we got enough room to squeeze this last multi. Oops, I meant to see who was with me, but that's okay. We got one transition, two transition, three transition. Will we get it? No, we won't. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Well, thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your support. Thank you for taking the time. Unfortunately, I did not get the character, but don't worry. That's not the end of the world. This is a non-limited character. You don't have to go too hard to get her. But once I do get her, at least I'll have enough to, to get both the uh, paid items, and I'll be good for them. So until next time, keep gaming. Take care, everyone. Later.